so friends welcome to easy coding with amara once again and in the previous video you will see we have done with the video section and in this video i am going to show you how you can fetch an image from a website okay so first of all i will show you what we have done in the previous video so this is the video this is the app And after the supply screen, you will see this type of data is appear. And in this post section, you can see we have the fetch the data from the website. So this data is coming from this website. So in this layout, I am going to make some changes. And what I am going to do here, first of all, I am going to fetch the this type of image and view here. And then after that, I create two buttons. Like first, I am I will show you the demo. So this is the demo app. And inside this post section, you will see this type of layout and it takes some time. Okay, so this type of layout and in this layout, I am going to create these two buttons. And you will see here is an image which is coming from this thumbnail. And when some user click on explore post, so the post is open in the website. And after that, if some click on this share with friends, then this type of layout is open. And you can share the link of this code with your friends. Okay. And this is the image. So, yes, in this video, I am going to show you this type of layout. So, let's begin. First of all, open the coding app. And then I am first I am going to copy the whole code and I am going to create a other dot file where I make changes. Okay, so I write update web scrapping here and now I copy whole code from this post section and then make some changes. So if you want this layout which I have created in the previous video then you create an other file and if you want to make changes in this layout so you do not have to create a new file okay so I am going to create the file in this update web scrapping and then make some changes here okay so first I will show you click on inspect button and after that you will see this image is present inside this a tag okay so first i am going to create a list view which store all the images which are present in this page so you can see that here is an images so i am going to create a list view which store all the images so copy this list view here and paste here and then click images and after that you will see first I am going to get the class name and store in a variable some new variable so paste here and remove this class tag name and after that I create a new image element and now you can see that here get element by class name so first i am going to show you which is the class name so when you click on this right and then click on this inspect button you will see that this is the deviation which is related to the image and you will see this span tag is inside this a tag okay so i am going to write the class name here this entry image link So write the class name here. So I store the this uh, this class name inside this image element, and now first copy this from here, and then make changes for the image. So this is the image element.
and after that you can see this type of get element by tag name so first i am going to found the tag in which the image is present so the tag name is span in this span tag the image is present okay so you can see that this is the link of the image so the link of image is stored in inside this span tag so i write span here And after that, this zero means you want to fetch the first element, first image from the page. Okay. So if you want to fetch the second image from the page, so you can write here one. And if you want to fetch the third image, so you write the two. So that is in this way you can change this numbering. And after that, you can see that the image is stored inside the data image which is the attribute of this span image okay so if you want to get the data from some attribute so you write the attribute keyword and if you want to get the data which is inside this span tag so you can see that inside this span tag is nothing so if you want to fetch the data which is inside the tags so you write the inner html okay so that's why that And now all the images which is present in the first page is stored in this link array. Okay, so remove this array and write the image here. And all the images which are which are present in the first page are stored in this image. And and why all the images related to the first page are fetching from the page? Because we give the link of the first page here and store in the response page and after that i use this response page to get the images okay so that's why all the images related to the first page which we have give the link here are stored in this image attribute image uh, array okay okay so now first i am going to create a container and inside this container i am going to create an attribute for the image so that's why the image is showing so first i am going to create a container inside the column so yeah, this is the card and inside this card i create a column and inside this column first i am going to create an other container and inside this container i am going to fetch the image and show in this image dot network and i after that i set the size of the image to the 0.1 and after that you will see we have created this type of layout this is the title which is okay with this and after that this is the code section and i created the code section here and now i am going to create the two buttons which you will see in the demo app and we did not create that two buttons in this layout okay so now i am going to create a two button here and you will see the two buttons are in the horizontal way so i am going to create first row here and after that inside that row i am going to create two buttons so first override the on press method what we are going to do in this on press and after that i am going to create a text and inside this text i write share with friends and set the color red and now i am going to give some space after this flat button and now i copy the same button and paste here so if you want to give the space horizontally then you set the width and now i am done with this layout and let's run this code so for running the code first i change this class name and write update post so copy this from here and paste it here
and go to the tab layout from where I am going to call this. So you can see that I remove this post from here and paste this. Press Alt Enter to import this class. So you can see that this is imported successfully. Now I am going to run this code. Okay, now the app is running and you will see that it fetched the image from the website and after that the text is here and after that this is the code and you can see this is the two buttons and these are the images and now I am going to design the button. So go to the flat button and inside that flat button here is the attribute which is shape and if you want to round the border so you have a class here And now I am I give the color of the sides. So now let's save this and see the output. So you will you will see this the this is the color of the border is white and I set a little round. So if you want to make border more rounded, so you will see set this. Now I am going to refresh this and you will see the border is round more. So in this way you will round the border. So I copy this code and paste the above button and press Ctrl S for save. And now you will see the output. So this is the rounded shape. And now I am going to change this text and after that when someone click on this text I want to open the website. So first write the text here. And paste the same code which we have created earlier here which is the code for the opening website. So paste that code here. Now again let's save this code and view the output. So you will see that when I click on this explore button, the website is open. Okay. So that's it for this video and if you like this video please like, comment and subscribe and share with your friends. See you soon. Allah Hafiz.